So today I am going to be teaching you guys how to make this adorable infinity scarf with a bow on it. And I just think this is so adorable and so cute for winter and it's super, super easy. And you can give it away as a Christmas present, you can keep it as yourself. I don't know which hair, but it's been super snowy here where I live. So it's nice to bundle up in a little a scarf. So, um, I am just going to warn you because this video is a little bit of a different format than my usual videos, so you have been forewarned. Prepare yourself, but let's go on and get into it. Okay guys, so today's video is going to be a little bit different than usual. Normally, for something like this, I would do like a voiceover thing. But I've been running a little low on time these days, especially with Christmas coming up. So I thought we would just kind of dive into it right here and I just kind of explain it while we're making it. So I guess without further ado, let's get started. So we only need three simple ingredients to create the Infinity Scarf. And it's so easy, there's no sewing involved, so don't even worry about it. I shouldn't be swinging these around because when I started trying to film this video, I deleted that clip, but I totally hit myself in the throat with these things and it was not a fun time. So we're gonna put those down. Actually, no. Scissors, we need scissors. And we need some material. And I'm using some really soft material because, you know, when you're cold, you just want something really snuff snuffed. That's like, I was going to say soft and snuggly at the same time, but it came out snuffed. So you want something soft and snuggly and warm and toasty So when you're cold. So I'm using this, like, I have no idea what kind of material this is. I'm going to be honest with you. Um, sometimes people just like to give me garbage bags full of extra material that they're not using because they know I like to make stuff. So that's where this came from. It's almost like um, something you would make, like, sweatpants out of or something like that. So that's what I'm using. And last but not least, this is probably the most important we need some fabric glue, mm -hmm. because that's what's going to hold it together, because we're not going to sew it, so you need to hold it together somehow. Woo! Okay, we're just going to do this, and just kind of, you know, I could totally just make a blanket out of this right now. Okay, so basically we're just going to decide, oops, how long you want your scarf to be. that would be long enough. Yep, that would definitely be long enough for me. So I'm actually just going to take the side of this. I don't know if this is in the whole frame, but um, just the side of it basically. And just throw the rest over there. So once you know how long you want it to be, um, just take it and lay it out like this, like so. And then, just start folding it over, like, how thick you want it to be. I don't think I want this. Well, maybe I do want it to be a little bit thicker. I don't know. Strings flying everywhere. And honestly, you don't really need to make it, like, perfect. Because it's never going to, like, look perfect around your neck anyways. And nobody's perfect, so no scarf will be perfect either sad but true. So I think that's that looks like a good enough um, width for me. Simple. We're just gonna cut along the edge. And voila! So now that we have our scarf cut, it's time to get our glue on. Maybe it would have been a better idea to do a voiceover because I'm really bad at like constantly talking unless I like plan out what I'm gonna say, which is usually what I do when I do voiceovers, but okay. Focus, that one. Let's focus, okay. Now it's time to glue. Now, this is the part that I wanna be on the outside, I mean the inside, sorry. I want the softness to be on the outside. So I'm actually, just for right now, we're gonna flip it inside out later, um, but just for right now, fold it so that your, your inside is on the outside. So basically it's inside out. And then, 
hopefully you guys can see what I'm doing. <clears throat> so, then basically, all we're going to do is just kind of glue it. Plain and simple. Just squeeze some glue out. And press your fabric down. But uh, don't glue the ends. We're not gluing that. We're just gluing the seam along the longer side of it. So you can just, uh, I'm probably just gonna fast forward me gluing this because this is probably gonna take a long time. So you can just go ahead and uh, do that and I'm just gonna keep on gluing mine. Okay, so now that my long side has been glued shut, we should wait a couple of minutes for the glue to dry before we start flipping this inside out so it doesn't come apart. And it doesn't take that long to dry, so let's just start uh, chipmunking some stuff up right now while we're waiting. Yes, I think so. dry on that end but it's pretty dry on this end so I'm just gonna start uh, unrolling this and hoping for the best. If I were you I would wait a little bit longer but just for this for video purposes I'm just gonna just gonna see what I can do about this. sideways like this. I hope you can see that. And just rolling out the edge of this. I'm just kind of laying that against this. And then you just want to match up your seam and just kind of glue her on down. would pop down. You should have something like this. Two holes that kind of stick together in the middle there. And then you gotta spread it apart so that you have like a seam inside. Kind of like, like so. Like that. If you can see it. And then this is going to be kind of hard because you kind of have to fold. Oh, this is going to be really hard for you guys to see. You have to fold this part down, put some glue on it, fold this half down, and glue it together. So let me see if I can do this because I don't know if I can. Of course I can. I can do anything that I want to do. Okay, so I think I managed to um, glue the hole down. I'm just kind of waiting it for it to dry and I got a little bit of glue there, but that's all right. Okay, so you most definitely can stop there and just finish it, just leave it like that. But I'm gonna take it a little bit further and I'm gonna make a bow on it because I like bows and I think putting a bow on it would look extremely cute. So if you wanna do that too, uh, 
So to make the bow is super easy. Basically just kind of like cut out this rectangle. So I have my rectangle and I'm just going to take the long sides and make a seam there. So I don't have any like weird cutty little edges. Okay, so my camera totally shut off me and I don't know where it shut off. So basically, we're just making a bow right now. I cut out a rectangle and I just glued the seam down of both of the long sides. And now, I'm just going to fold it in half and fold this piece over top of it. And I'm just going to glue that down. Almost like you're making a tube. So just pretend you're making a tube. So now once we have our little tube, basically we're just going to like pinch it and make a bow that looks kind of like that. And I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue there so that it will stay kind of how I want it to like pinch. Pretty scarfy if you ask me. But I'm gonna cover up the seam with the bow. I am just going to cut out a rather long, well not that long I guess, but kind of a long skinny strip because I'm going to cover the center of the bow with it and I'm also going to wrap it around the scarf. So basically what I'm going to do is just kind of like wrap that around that and then wrap this strip around the seam. I'm just kind of making it as tight as I possibly can. So it looks like that. And then I'm gonna just tie it so I can get it in place how I want it. I'm going to double knot it as well and then I'm just going to put a little bit of glue underneath parts of it so that it will stick. Cut some of the excess string off and there you have it. So that is the end of the video guys. I really hope you liked it. I hope it wasn't too scatterbrained for you. Um, and if you do decide to try this out at home or if you want to, you decide to give it out as a gift or something like that, please, please, please tweet me with a photo of it. Um, hmm, what should the hashtag be? Uh, oh gosh, I'm so bad at these. You can just tweet me with my name, um, at Fallon Fraser, and tweet me with a picture of it because I will retweet it and I will love it and because I just really want to see you guys' recreations of it and see if anybody, anybody out there actually watches my videos, actually tries out this stuff. So, that is it for today, guys. If you like this video, please give it a big ol' thumbs up down there. And leave a comment below if you think you might try this, or if you like the way it looks, or if you have any questions or anything like that. And I will see you guys very soon with a brand new video. Bye!